So as I said, this is Katsitelli. Katsitelli? Yeah. So it's a nice, uh, nice grape, very sweet, very juicy, and it's very, very eatable. Mm -hmm. And also we got, we're going to get nice wine from this variety of grape. And so we are squeezing them and we just put, we squeeze by this machine. And so it's, it's kind of breaks and squeeze. Here you can see inside it's, it's coming out juice. So what are you going to, what else are you going to do? So, see, we just take... We're gonna uh -huh. fill it up. Uh -huh. So and then start squeezing. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So we got it nice and full. Okay. Nice and full. And so we're gonna rotate this this holder. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And. Oh. Uh, okay. But this main steam uh -huh. still stays. It stays up top. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna give. It's gonna give wine uh, some specific taste. So if you just take only grapes and break and put in, it's gonna be different wine. But that doesn't mean a bad wine. But it's, still, it's, still it's gonna, gonna be, be different. But we don't make this kind of wine. All right, so I guess at this point I'm going to shut off the video camera until okay. the next step. I'll be real back. And I'll be back a little later. I'm going to help uh, crush some grapes. Uh, 4 times 25 is like 100 one. kilograms. Every 100 kilograms, you have to put one like 10 liter water. But cut. So yeah. when it's grape, where it's very sweet mm -hmm. and it's very ripe, so we have to put the water, water. to make a little drinkable. You know, mm -hmm. if it's so sweet, it's going to be like crazy. Very, very alcohol, alcohol level will be very high. Very high. So it's gonna be impossible to drink. You uh -huh. know? So now this, this, uh, this our grape, it's not extremely sweet, but it's kind of it can say like kind of medium, medium level of grape. So and uh, yeah, so uh -huh. we put like five liters right now. So then he gonna put in a five, five liters. liters. So now. He decide that for this kind of uh, grapes we need only 10 liters. Some grapes that you need like 20 liters, but there is some grapes that you don't you need any. Just squeeze it and just wait. It all depends on the content of sugar in the grape. Yeah, it depends. So it, it comes from. So this decision you have to make up from your by your experience. So nobody gonna say they'll put 10, 5, and we, there is no there is no uh, instructions so that you can follow it. You just, I don't know. But well, I, well, I've actually got an idea. Can I taste one of your grapes? Yeah. So to me, these grapes tasted medium sweet. Yeah. They're, they're not the sweetest, but they're also not the, uh, they're, they're, not, they're not sour. They're very good grapes. They're good tasting grapes. Okay, we're gonna come back after I help them get this barrel full, I think. Okay. One more thing. You can guess also quality and uh, how sweet it is uh, by color. When anyway, it's turn kind of yellow, it's a kind of fire color. Uh -huh. uh, you, you got what I mean? Like a yellow flame. Yellow flame. Yeah, you got it. So it's it's, uh, it's supposed to be. It has to be uh, like sweet. this. Yeah. Like See? this in there. So it's uh, this one, for example. This one, it's, uh, it's sweet. Yes. But when I take kind of green one, uh -huh. let me find now this color inside, it's a little green. Right. So it's, it's gonna be a little sour. Okay. So, but if you go and check it out, see, come here. Mommy, let's come over there. I got it. I so, can... see, see color. Let's zoom in a little see? bit. Yeah, see, see the but variety. It, no, 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 no shade. It's, huh? See, it's kind of yellow. Mm -hmm. So it's turning yellow. So it's can you can guess that it's gonna be very sweet. So, but anyway, it's kind of green, green. like like this. Ah, uh, no, I cannot find green. <laughs> there, there's so, some see, green there. See some green, so it's kind of sour. I see. There's the green ones and the yellow ones. So sometimes you don't. Let's get them here, mate. Okay. This is Lali. <laughs> How much of that, Lali? Don't worry, How is it? I mean, this are twelve. It's this activity that we make. Gargi. Gargi. I love this.
<laughs> so, and I think what I'm saying is that sometimes you can guess by how visual... Visually how visually, it looks yeah, and... How it, how it looks and sometimes you don't to even taste it. So I gotta tell you, this is the first time, this is actually one of the things I wanted to learn when I, when I was so interested to come to Georgia. Yeah. Gamma Jobot, I'm okay. Adamishas. <laughs> Shen? Oh, Quinn? Quinn? Feel nice. Ah, you. I feel nice. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera okay, off and help you. Okay. Okay, right now I'm loading the uh, grape press. And we just sort of pull the grapes in, we get rid of leaves. The grape press is situated offside of the barrel because if you uh, put it directly in the center, you wouldn't be able to turn the wheel and you wouldn't be able to squeeze the grapes. It was explained to me by Dutchie. <laughs> Dutchie, what kind of barrel is it? What's the barrel made of? So it's, uh, it's a variety of Georgian tree. Uh -huh. uh, but actually, I apologize, but I have no idea how can I translate this uh, kind of uh, Tree. That's okay. Uh, so, but we, we got a lot. This kind of tree name it's Mucha. Mucha. Yeah. So it's very so. durable, uh, durable tree, and it's very. Uh, uh huh. It's very usable for uh, this uh, this kind of application. Uh, application. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so and. Uh, well, this barrel looks to be very old. Yeah, it's very old. Yeah, it's it's kind of my age. Your age? <laughs> your father's been using this since you were born? No, it's my friends, uh, my father's friends. Uh -huh. So I think they have been using it for a long time. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, so... Yeah, we can see inside. I'll show you the... Uh, flatten the... Uh, if you notice... What the fuck is that? You have chosen. Oh, So all the stems. These, those um, butters or how you call? I don't know. Barrel? The butters. Uh, so it comes from my grandpa. Uh -huh. So this one actually oh. is uh, older than me. Those, those barrel. two, those two. Uh, actually, we got one more. This comes from comes from your uh, um, grandpa. Your grandpa. So you yeah. got to be pushing a hundred years. Yeah, I think so. I old. think it's pretty old. It's pretty old. So uh, when he died, uh -huh. so I'm gonna I'm gonna just show okay. people what's happening inside. We are just done with this. It's just it's almost filled filled up, and. Uh, yeah, it comes from my grandpa. When he died, we just brought here those, and we are, we start we start so using it. Yeah. So and. So this yeah. is a very very old Georgian tradition, and, yeah, and your family has been yeah. doing it for a long time. For a long time, my grandpa. Now we are doing this, and then, and our next generation, next and next. I was joking with Dutchy off camera <laughs> that you get. A spider or a wasp or something in there occasionally. Yeah, yeah some, some <laughs> and I, insects. And I said it's just a little extra flavor. <laughs> it's a natural process. Yeah, it's nature. Uh, so you... one of the things that I really like about this process is that it's, first of all, very old traditional for yeah, this it's... region of the world, and uh, it's all natural process. No sulfites, no chemicals. Nothing. Nothing. Just grapes and a. Fermentation. Send some little little water to make it drinkable and easy drinkable. There you go. So water. and so. Okay, that that's it, mommy. <laughs> yeah. So I think for now that's all. And uh, and later we can we can uh, I can explain you how what we are doing every day for this wine, how we mix it and stuff, or where we gonna put in big. I mean, when we gonna separate. Uh, a pure Separate juice, the juice yeah. from the pulp. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. The artistry of the yeah, process. yeah. It's <laughs> that's another story. <laughs> that's the hard part. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's getting filled up. So yeah. Uh -huh. See you soon. Bye. So 